Just under 600 people in Switzerland are diagnosed with liver cancer every year. That's 2% of all cancer cases. Those affected are mainly older men. Surgery offers the best chance of survival, but because the tumours are difficult to locate, an operation is suitable for only 20% of liver cancer patients. What you can see inside of the cut open liver is a lot of vessels and structures. And within these structures, you can also see three small tumours here in bright yellow. One can take away uh, parts of the liver, but you cannot take away everything that would not leave enough tissue behind. Surgeons can't see inside the organ when they're operating. Until now, they could only rely on an ultrasound image. But since this lacks accuracy, the risk is that more tissue than necessary is cut out. Some years ago, Bern University professor Stefan Weber came up with the idea to develop a special navigation tool, something to help guide the surgeon through the liver, like a GPS system guiding an aircraft pilot through froggy weather. The navigation system itself supports the surgeon by providing an additional information on a computer screen to which the surgeon can look at. He understands better where the tumour is and how structures to the side of the tumour vessels typically um, are located. He can actually do the surgery very precisely and he can limit the, uh, the, the trauma and the invasiveness that is required to carry out the surgery. In other words, the surgeon can monitor on a computer screen every move he makes as he operates inside the liver. And here's how it works. The patient is scanned in the hospital in a computer tomograph to get a stack of two-dimensional images of the liver. Those are sent via internet to Mervis in Bremen, Germany. Here, the CT images are processed to produce an individual 3D model of the patient's liver, including the hepatic vessel systems and tumours. The experts at Mervis also work out an optimal surgery plan and send it back via the internet to the surgeon along with the 3D liver model. At the hospital, the 3D model is imported into the navigation system. To calibrate his instrument, the surgeon simply has to pick four spots on the real liver as so-called landmarks. The computer then matches these landmarks with the virtual 3D liver image. Once that's been done, the surgeon can see exactly where his instrument is inside the liver. To remove the tumour, microwaves are applied from the tip of the instrument. It's important to pick the right amount of energy so as not to destroy more tissue than necessary. A virtual green ball helps find the right amount of energy by indicating the area to be destroyed. Based on Weber's idea, biomedical engineer Matthias Peterhans developed the navigation system as part of his PhD project and set up his own company to market it. Daniel Candinas helped with the practical adaptation of the tool for use in operating theatres. Apart from Bern, the system is already in use in Hamburg at the Asclepios Clinic, as well as in Shanghai at the Eastern Hepatobiliary Hospital. The latter is the biggest liver treatment centre in the world, carrying out 5,000 liver operations per year. These are our first reference customers and in Hamburg, Germany, we now, we've done quite a number of cases and we get really good feedback and we, this helps us also to continue the development and to steadily improve the product towards something that is accepted by a large search communities. Daniel Candinas has also had positive experiences with the device. We have been able to treat patients, particularly here in the West, with multiple small lesions within the liver, I believe more accurately. It's too soon to say how this has impacted on a large cohort of patients. I think we can, we can state this in maybe five or ten years down the road. Should the 3D device make the breakthrough in liver surgery, it could be further developed for other surgical applications.